We are here today with Brett Rutecki. Brett, welcome back to the show. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Right, it's been a long time since you've actually been on the Mike from Main show. I think it's literally been years since I've interviewed you. I think it's definitely been several years. <laughs> yeah. And today you're on. You're actually doing a launch with someone other than me. How dare you? Uh, you're doing a launch with a, a good friend of ours, Joshua Zamora, uh, where you're bringing something to the, to the market that I really think is going to help a lot of people. Uh, you and I have been doing reviews for years. Uh, in essentially what I was doing more of were the video reviews, but you always preferred the written review. Tell me a little bit about why written reviews have always done really well for you and why you prefer, preferred those uh, in the past. The reason I like written reviews is because I did them on my blog, brettretechie.com. I mean, you, you know that. Most people know that. They've followed me for a while. And I liked written reviews because text content uh, ranks with Google better than any other content. Agreed. Yeah. So Google loves text content. And I, by writing a written review, I can get people to come to my, my site organically from search engine results, which gets me more sales, gets me more long-term sales because just because they come from this product, maybe they buy that other product. It, it's just a very um, ongoing thing to, to, to have, do a written review like that. With YouTube, as, as you know, I love doing videos and putting them up there because there's free traffic on YouTube. But like you said, there's also tons of free traffic simply from people searching on Google. And one thing I always remember is I would always search for product names and your reviews always came up to the top on there. Now, doing these product reviews is very lucrative. And I know you've made, uh, I want to say tens of thousands, but I probably closer to hundreds of thousands, if not more, from doing these written reviews. And if you add in all the emails that you've gotten from people getting on your list, it might even equate to, I don't know, even like I know you've done multiple millions in your business. It's definitely helped you out with that. Uh, but they're not that easy to write, are they? Um, how, how long do they take you to do those those reviews? No, no, you're right. They're not easy. And, and, and reviews is definitely, it's hard to say what percentage of my business came from reviews, but it was definitely a key aspect of my business. Uh, so I think hundreds of thousands of dollars is sure. a fair estimate. Um, and like you had said, though, it, it's a lot of work to write these reviews. So you go over, you got to read the sales page for the product. You got to read the JV page. You got to read all the documentation on the product. Then what I do is I have this little clipboard right here. And I was keeping my desk. You, you've seen this before. And I take notes as I'm going through the product. I take notes on the product. It does this. It does that. It doesn't do that. It needs this. And I take all these notes. Then I go over to my blog and I start writing a review of the product, referencing my notes. Uh, so then as I'm um, when I'm done referencing my notes and writing out a full review, then I got to spell check it. Then I got a grammar check it, which, you know, I suck at. <laughs> okay, so there's, it's good. I'm so happy there are grammar checkers out there. Uh, but there's been plenty of times where I've missed stuff. Uh, when, when it's all said and done, I, I've spent hours from the time that I started, you know, looking at the product to the time where I finally have a post on my blog. It's several hours until that's done. Now, you multiply that by doing, say, one review a day. That's a lot of work. I, I have a job now writing reviews. Uh, and uh, I know it's and that's why I don't write reviews because they take so <laughs> long to do. A, I can do a video much faster personally, but I know a lot of people aren't comfortable doing that. Now, today you've come out with a, a product called AI Review Engine. Um, tell us a little bit about it. And when you're ready, go ahead and feel free to share your screen. OK, so for a long time, I suggested that people have a review blog. I mean, I know it works. I know you can make money on it. I literally can take it to the bank and show you money I've made with reviews. Okay, we'll leave that aside. I would always suggest that people do that though. Start a review blog, write reviews. The problem is, let's be honest, it's a ton of work like we just talked about. And a lot of people don't have the time to do that. They've got jobs, they've got kids, they've got wives, they've got other responsibilities. They just don't have the time to do that. So I actually stopped suggesting that people create review blogs. Mm. Um, I haven't done that for a while. For about a year, maybe two years, I, I just didn't suggest that people create review blogs. I realized that people didn't have the time that I have. Um, it just wasn't really a practical thing for them. And then AI came out. And, and, and AI came out, and AI came out with uh, an interface for programmers. And I started looking at the interface for programmers, and I started, you know, the wheels started turning in my head. I was like, why don't we just use AI? to write the review for you. 
instead of going to the sales page and reading the content and taking notes, why don't I just program something that tells AI to go to the sales page, reads the content, takes notes on the highlights of the products, and then writes a review based on that. But you're taking your process, you're taking what you used to do from, from your brain, and you've made the software follow those those protocols. Yes, yes, exactly. Instead of me having to do it, why not just let the AI do it? And what's great about that is the AI always writes grammatically correct. There's never a punctuation better, better error. What's that? Better than you. Oh, it is. It, it is. It's better than me. I'm going to be honest. It, it can write better than probably all of us, most of us, at least, sure. unless you're a professional writer. So that's what I did. I wrote a WordPress plugin that you can put on your blog. And all you have to do is tell the AI, tell the plugin, this is the product I want to promote. Here's the sales page for it. And it will scan that sales page. It will take out highlights and bullet points of that sales page. And then it will write the review for you. I can go ahead and show you how it works if you like. Yeah, I was just about to say. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Is my screen coming through? Yes. All right. So this is my review blog. Uh, this is where I would normally write my reviews. This is the AI review engine plugin. So you can see it's really simple. First thing you want to do is go ahead and enter in your AI key, your open AI key. You can get your key from open AI. Uh, oh, I will be honest, open AI does charge a fee to use their API. Um, it costs about one fifth of one penny to write a review and they give you five bucks to start with. <laughs> so, I, I, I can't do math very well. I wonder how many reviews you'd have to do before you spent that first five bucks. Uh, it works out to about 2,500. 25, okay, so 2,500 reviews, and then you and then you start paying a fifth of a of a penny to. Of a to penny, yes, yes. So okay. yes, you can. So, they're, they're incredibly uh, low cost <laughs> on there. So you do get your key from them. It's free to sign up. They give you five bucks to start off with. It's about a fifth of a penny uh, to write a review. Put your key in there, click save, and you're done. Okay. Second thing you need to do is select your category. So you can see I have my reviews in my review category. It's the only category on my site, so I'm going to put it in reviews. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a product URL. So I'm going to go over to JVZoo here and I'm going to find a product. Uh, what product looks good here? Let's try this one. I'm going to click on get my affiliate link here. Now, incidentally, I always demo this with JBZoo because I promote JBZoo products. But you could just as easily enter in an Amazon link if you have if you're an Amazon affiliate, eBay, Alibaba. As long as you can get a sales page for mm -hmm. the AI to actually read about the product and you can get an affiliate link for it, then you can use this. I'm just demoing with JBZoo because that's what I do. Well, that's neat. Okay, I didn't know that. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to request to be an affiliate. I should get immediately approved here. All right, I'll grab my affiliate link, take it over here, and I'm going to paste it in where it says affiliate link. Then I'm going to go ahead and I want to see the sales page, so I'm going to grab the click to see the product page. All right, and I'll grab that and I'll take it over here. Oh, that's the wrong one. There you go. Paste that in there. And then I'm going to do this. This is a lot of work. You have to click the post. That's it. Now, AI, right now, what it's doing is it's scanning that sales page. It's, it's looking for the highlights, for the keywords, for the important context of that sales page. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to write my review for me. How long does it usually take to write? About, about 60 seconds. Takes. 60 seconds. OK, so it's in the background. And uh, you, you want to leave this open while your review is being created? Yeah, you do want to leave this open, but you can like go to another tab or something, watch a video, you know, get up, go get a coffee, whatever you want. You do want to leave this open since it's a WordPress plugin. You want to let it run. You can see it's actually done. It took less than 60 seconds. And go over here to posts. And you can see there is my new post, AI Video Suite Review. I'm going to go ahead and edit that. Now, you can see it's written all the review text for me. And it's also entered, uh, put a, a link on the bottom that has the click here, the call to action. Now, I can do a couple of things. I could go ahead and leave this the way it is right now. Mm -hmm. And I could just have my text review. Or I can go over here to the sales page for AI video suite, maybe grab some of the images. Uh, because that is one thing that the AI can't do. It can't grab the images. Uh, so maybe grab some of the images and add them into my review so I can have some images in my review. It, it's up to you if you want to have it all text or if you want to have some images in it. Uh, but the important thing about this is, is it's just saved me all that time 
of scanning the page, taking notes, and writing my review article. Let me show you another one here. You know you have text that you can rank in Google and get you free traffic. Yeah, absolutely. When you have text, the text is the most important thing. Again, if you want to grab some images from the sales page, edit it in, you know, in, in the WordPress here, and put some images in, that's fine. But the text is in there now. The hard part is all done for you. And most people aren't doing, like we said before, a lot. most people aren't doing text reviews because there, it takes that extra effort to write that text. But now with the power of the software, you can actually just skip all that and easily have tons of uh, SEO ready, uh, Google friendly content that can rank in the search engines. You got to remember, Google wants to send you traffic. Believe it or not, everybody thinks like we've got to trick Google into sending us traffic and stuff. Google wants to send you traffic. The reason Google wants to send you traffic is because if somebody comes to Google and they search for for something, anything they want, and then Google sends them to a website that's relevant to what they search for, that customer is happy. That makes that customer come back to Google. That's what Google wants. Okay, so they want to send you traffic. You just have to give Google what they want. And what they want is text content that's relative to the subject. And that's why writing, re oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. So I was gonna say, uh, one thing I wanted to point out also is be clear, because I, I know you're gonna be manning the support desk after, is that uh, when, when it comes to using this, you will need to have a WordPress website to make this work, correct? Yes, it is a WordPress plugin. Uh, so to be clear, uh, it plugs into WordPress, so you need to have WordPress, yes. Yeah. Uh, and you do actually need, uh, PHP version 7, PHP 7.0, uh, which you, if you have a decent hosting, PHP 5.6 is about 15 years old, uh, and then it went straight to 7. So if you have a decent hosting, you should have no problems with that either. Cool. Okay. So th that's the software that you get on the front end. I know that you've got multiple upgrades and you have a special bundle discount deal that I'm going to be recommending. Uh, Really quick, uh, just kind of let us know a little bit about how that's all going to work, how the upgrades in the bundle. So uh, as you guys, you know, as you said from the beginning, I'm actually launching this with our friend Joshua Zamora. So Joshua is handling all the marketing aspect. I'm handling the technical aspect of it. Uh, so for the upgrades, what Joshua had decided to do was to offer special pricing on some of his other software, some other related software. I believe there's actually four total. Okay. Uh, other softwares that you get offered a special price on. And then the bundle deal is as a discounted price on the special price. So the bundle deal is actually a, a double deal. So being a part of this and, and getting into this funnel and getting into this offer, you get a special offer on some of his other softwares. And as a bundle, you get a even more reduced offer as well. Cool. Awesome. Brett, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Is there anything else that you want to mention? Anything we missed uh, before we wrap it up? No, you know, the thing, the, one of the negative things about a, it's not really a negative, but it's so hard to do a, a big demo of a software like this because it's so easy to use. Yeah, it's, uh, that's, for me, that's not a negative. For me, that's a, a big positive because, I mean, you don't have to go through hours and hours of tutorials. You don't have to, uh, like, I don't know if you've ever bought some tool or whatever and, or software, and then you go and you try to, if you want to use it, you have to like sit down and, and look at the manual or watch all kinds of different training videos. I know with you doing your product reviews, you've had to go through a lot of tutorials as well. So it's going to save people a lot of time with this. Again, Brett, thank you so much for coming on the show and best of luck with your launch. Thanks, Mike.